Have you ever been surfing the net and run across something for sale in your area that just completely captivated you? And the smart part of your brain is like, oh yeah, yeah there's something. But then that dumb part of your brain is kind of like, well... So we are headed off to what is widely known around town as the most marginally sub-difficult four-wheel drive obstacle in all of town. It's gonna be super heavy metal. Really looking forward to see how old Enzo handles her. So let's get her. I sometimes have a bad habit of making what may seem on the surface to be bad financial decisions that ultimately turn out to be pretty bad financial decisions, but that's not what Enzo is. Cars are pretty crazy. They're these rolling boxes fueled by tiny explosions that collectively could play a huge role in the conclusion of time as we know it. And the car you drive can also say a lot about your personality. Like take a car like this for example. Subaru Bajas are for the kind of people that like the functionality of a truck, but don't necessarily need the functionality of a truck. We don't like Subaru Bajas on this channel. And so of course that begs the ultimate question, which I know you're wondering, and that is what does my car say about me? Well, we're gonna look into it, shall we now? <laughs> well, as we saw earlier, he's mildly capable of traversing difficult terrain. He's a little bit different what with the steering wheel being on the other side and everything. You know, he's got plenty of room for lots of people in his little world. When he rolls into town, everyone just walks around him. But on the flip side, uh, he's definitely not perfect. He's not like the strongest, but he is cute sometimes. <laughs> this is so stupid. No, honestly though, I used to live in Denver where there was a huge emphasis on the car you drove and like what car you were riding around in really did play a role in like your status in town. And I always hated it. That's complete nonsense. It's not true. You can drive whatever car you want and be a completely different person from what the stereotype may be. Take Ryan, for example. He is a hardworking college graduate who is consistently trying to break into a heavily inflated housing market. He's the kind of guy that always keeps up with his laundry and you would never expect him to be the kind of person to own this car. Bailey is another great example. She is a strong contender for the world's best cat mom. Like she loves spending time with Tulsi more than just about anything. She also loves to work on and admire her ceramic bird collection. And she is definitely the last person you would expect to drive a car like this one. And don't get me wrong, I'm grateful for and excited about Enzo, and I'm gonna go on adventures in him just like I would with any other car. But we live in a silly world that places societal value on the ownership of an item, and that is garbage, and I hate it. But I love this van, and I'm gonna have fun in it. <laughs>